Hello everybody, it's Phantom Phobia, and welcome back to another updates video. So today I set up another camera I will be using to record my videos. The camera I added is called the Dragon Touch 4K. It can take pictures in 16 megapixels and can also record video in 1080 at 60 frames per second and 4K at 30 frames per second. It also has some advanced features like time lapse, slow motion, and driving mode. The Dragon Touch also comes with Wi Fi connectivity and an SD card reader. I'm not sponsored by the Dragon Touch company, I just like this camera. As you can see, I have set up another camera, another camera over here. Uh, hello, camera. It, it could be fun to see me at different angles. Some YouTubers do that. I'm doing that now. At some point, I hope to get the mic closer to my face. But yeah, so this, this video is basically uh, playing with the different camera angles and switching in between them seeing what works, seeing what's right, also seeing what the audio is with this camera if I'm not using this mic's audio. So let's hear what that sounds like. This is what it sounds like with that camera's audio. And this is what it sounds like with this microphone's audio, this microphone right here that you can actually see better from this camera. Amazing. It'll help me to record my hands when I'm doing projects or whatever. Also, my posture. I need to work on my posture. This is like, oh, yeah, well, this is all. This is all. So that didn't go as smoothly as I would have hoped. Switching between cameras is something I need to absolutely work on, and I need to make sure to set the little camera to a better quality when recording video. As for the audio on this little camera, it wasn't the best because I wasn't actually able to connect this microphone that does go into this little camera. The reason I'm not able to connect this microphone to this camera is due to the fact that it has to be in this case in order to go on the tripod. Before I continue on, I first need to address the elephant in the room, which is, I'm still making videos. I said I was going to take a break until I finish school. Well, I found more time in my schedule that I could use, and I was doing nothing in it. And as I've talked about on my vlogs channel, that wasn't good for me. So I naturally started creating videos, which is something I like to do, and posting them. This is actually something that's good for my mental health. Again, look at my vlogs channel. You'll see updates about my mental health and other things that are happening in my life. But Basically, this is good for my mental health to be doing something, creating videos, so that's why I'm back at it. I have yet again rearranged my setup because I did a drawing stream the other day. Go check out my Twitch channel once again, link down below. And so I realized that what I should do for this setup tour is more like a review of everything I use for my setup because it does continuously f change and fluctuate. So using my little camera, I will be giving you all the tour. So this is my setup tour. At the center of my whole setup is the $400 computer that I bought from Staples. It works pretty well, but I would like to upgrade it. Then we have my Elgato Wave 1 microphone. I bought the Wave 1 because it was the least expensive and it still works fairly well. Also another thing I could upgrade but not essential to upgrade. I have a keyboard, which is just a basic Dell keyboard that I attach to my laptop so I can have better posture because I do have my laptop on a cardboard box. For my webcam, I have a Nikon D3300. I like how this works. The quality could be better, but it works for what I need it to do right now. I have a newer webcam light, which has newer batteries, which are down here. These are the batteries for the little camera I'm using right now. 
and this is the place where I charge the big battery for my newer light. The Beats Studio 3. The Beats Studio 3 headphones allow me to hear sound the way it's meant to be heard without any extra fillers to make it sound nicer so I can be confident in when I'm making music and when I'm editing videos that I'm hearing what people may hear. Over here I have a tripod where this little camera can sit on while I'm recording videos. As for what's connected to my camera, I have the Camnova Cam Link. This was a pre-used Cam Link, but it works pretty well and it was less expensive than getting the Elgato Cam Link. As for the USB hub that I use, I am unsure how to actually pronounce this, but I will have it on the screen right now. So yeah, that's exactly what it's called. Uh, that is my setup tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's informational to me and it helps me know what I... Thank you all again so much for watching. It's fun to do these creative and fun things, and I'm excited to do more of it. So, yeah, like, subscribe, hit that bell, Skip it up and down. all those things, and I'll see you all next time.